Let's throw this pivot arm in front of us. So since our dimensions are in millimeter, we're gonna go new the metric standard millimeter, and then we say create. Here we are going to start with our axis. So here is our first one. Okay. Then here comes our second one. We need to make sure that the distance between this one here and that one there is 185 okay once we have those we're gonna go now for these rectangles so first one and second one now the height difference between that one there and this one here need to be 75 millimeters so 75 millimeters and this need to be come on this one here need to be 100 so 100 it is one double zero and this one here need to be one one five so double one five good that's need to be 12 enough 12.5 the same apply the same applies here so 12.5 good this one here need to be at 30 millimeters so 30 millimeter 30 and this one here need to be 15 millimeters away so one five good now that we have this the next thing that we're gonna do is to go for this um uh, this circle here so this one here need to be 12 millimeters so 12 and uh, from there to there, that need to be 6060. That is good. <clears throat> Once we have that, the next thing that we need are these circles. So we're gonna go with the first one, the second one. Now, not I, the, uh, the third one, and the fourth one. What will happen is from here to there we need five millimeters. So five. Yeah. Now from here to here we need four four point nine two. There we go. Again. From here to there, we need 14.417, enter, and we can now drag this one inside here, so we can drag it up to there, now we need from there, to there to be 8.04 that is good so now this need to be 150 that's one day needs to be um, 70 enter so we need to make sure that this circle is equal to that one good and that one they need to be equal to that one that is good now that we have this we're gonna come here and draw this line here up to there again we're gonna come here we draw a line let's say up to there good after this we're going to go on 3d model we click on extrude so now we're going to extrude that part that one that one and uh, this one by 36 36 millimeters or 36 both sides of our drawing plane there you go so it goes like that yeah it goes like that then i say Okay, after that, I go here 
I right click on my sketch, I say visibility on. Again, I go on 3D model, I click on revolve. I need now to revolve this part here, sorry, this whole part against this axis, like that. Okay. So that's what I need to go. I see that we need to make this one bigger. So don't worry about that one. What you can do is, okay, what you can do as we can say, okay, and then you say, uh, edit sketch. Now, this one here, you can pull it a little bit inside, up to there, okay, up to there. Don't worry about that one. After you pull it a little bit inside, then you say, okay, now look, you see how it looks there. Come on, you see how it looks there. Right, that is good. So again, you click on revolve. You want to revolve this part against the success. Right? That is good. You say, okay. After that, you click again on uh, extrude. Now you want to create a hole there. So you click on this one. You make sure that it comes this other side, and that one can be for it to go through maybe five five. That is good. Then you say uh, cut, then cut it, and then you say okay. Now that you have your frame, the frame of your drawing, the next thing that you want is uh, you can say uh, visibility off. You right click on your sketch, then you select these parts. Okay. And then you click on chamfer, okay? You select that part as well, including uh, this part and uh, that part. The chamfer need to be of six millimeters, so you're gonna say six, okay? There you have it, right? You say, um, okay. Again, you click on that one. Plus this one. Uh, let's go down here. Plus this one. Plus this one. But now you want a chamfer of two millimeters. So you say two. You say okay. Now you turn your frame. What you want next is to select this one. Plus that one. So you click. Uh, uh, there you need to create a fillet, so plus that one, okay, plus this one, you turn it again, okay, you come here, plus that one, you turn it again, plus this one, turn it again, plus that one, don't get tired yet, plus this one, plus that one, you need a fillet of 12 millimeters, so you say 12. <clears throat> okay, now you need to, to kill these corners, so you click on this one, and uh, you need to create a fillet, so plus that one, plus that, plus that, okay, plus this, that, that, and that, by two millimeters, so <clears throat> there is a two, you say okay, now you're drawing is completed so the next thing that you need now is to create to choose the material so for this one here you can go with uh, carbon steel or stainless steel up to you so i'm gonna go with carbon steel so i come here still i choose carbon steel that is your pivot arm how do we pivot arm it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. If you'd like to join our membership uh, club, please, you're welcome to join. See you on the next video. Bye.